Welcome to the instructional video on how to create a personalized playlist. So let's start by answering the question, what is a personalized playlist? A personalized playlist is a curated collection of multimedia resources like educational videos, podcasts, interactive activities, that are tailored to meet the specific needs and interests of not only the teacher, but also the students. Playlists can be created to support various learning objectives, cater to diverse learning styles, and align with the curriculum. It allows teachers to organize and share relevant content for use in the classroom or for professional development purposes. Now you're probably wondering, why exactly would I even want to use personalized playlists in my instruction? Well, let's look at some of the benefits of personalized playlists. Enhanced student engagement. So research indicates that personalized playlists can increase student engagement by offering a variety of multimedia resources that cater to different learning styles and interests. Improved academic performance. Some studies have found that the use of personalized playlists is associated with improved academic outcomes, including higher levels of mastery and retention of content. Support for differentiated instruction. Personalized playlists have been shown to support differentiated instruction by providing tailored resources to meet the diverse needs of students, including multilingual learners and students with special needs. Promotion of self-directed learning. Students using personalized playlists have demonstrated increased autonomy and self-directed learning behaviors as they can access and explore content at their own pace and according to their interests. Blended learning success. Studies have indicated that personalized playlists are effective in blended learning environments where they complement traditional classroom instruction and enable students to engage with content outside of regular school hours. In order to design a personalized learning playlist, planning and preparation are paramount. So you want to think about the six elements in a playlist. No matter what a playlist might look like or how it might be organized, all playlists have six basic elements in common. So let's look at what they are. First, you want to determine the learning target. So what are your learners expected to know and be able to do at the end of the playlist? Next, you wanna select the assessments. So how are the students going to demonstrate mastery of the learning target? Then you want to be sure that you include a variety of resources and learning activities for students to participate in. So what online and offline resources are available for learners to interact with as they move toward mastery of the learning target? And then how will learners make progress toward mastery of the learning target? What activities will they participate in to practice what they are learning? Think um, individual activities, those can be offline or online. You can have collaborative activities with students working together. Um, again, online or offline. You might even have some small group instruction happening as students need it. Next, you want to think about where you can strategically place learning checkpoints. So where do you think students are gonna to need to check in with you before they move on to the next content resource or uh, learning activity in the journey? And then last, but certainly most definitely not least, you want to be sure in that playlist that you are building in student voice and choice. So where along that playlist learning journey will students have voice and choice over maybe the resources they interact with or the activities they choose to do as they practice their learning as they move toward mastery? 
Now that you have decided on the learning target, the possible assessments, online and offline content resources, a variety of learning activities, strategic checkpoints, and student voice and choice for this personalized learning playlist, you are ready to build it out. Now, creating personalized playlists can be a time-consuming process, but there are some tips that can help you streamline that process. Let's look at six suggestions. Use templates. There are a plethora of templates available online that you can simply grab a copy of and then input your content and activities and checkpoints. You can then customize those templates as needed to meet the needs of your students. Start small. You can start with a very short playlist that includes just a handful of content resources, a couple activities that would only take students part of or most of the learning time to complete. Then you could gradually work your way up to perhaps a playlist that takes multiple days to complete or even a playlist that covers an entire unit. But definitely start small. Ensure that your playlist has variety, not only in your content resources, um, online and offline, so text, video, podcasts that will give students multiple ways to engage with the content, but also a variety of learning tasks so that students have options to pick from. They have different ways to practice what they're learning as they move toward mastery. On your playlist, use symbols. These are great for visual references like a book for a reading task or headphones to indicate that there's a listening or a viewing task. These will help students navigate the playlist and they're especially helpful for multilingual learners that you might have as part of your learning community. And finally, choose the right tools. There are a variety of digital tools available online that you can use to create content, to create learning activities for students to participate in, and even to put the entire playlist on. You do want to be sure that you uh, check with your district on what digital tools they have already purchased access for you, or that they've already put on an approved list for student use. That is a great place to start with your instructional technology department, but also check with your colleagues with your teacher buddies down the hall um, check online look for di different tools that you've heard about you just want to be sure that you are considering um, the best tool to meet the needs of the content but most especially the needs of the students in your learning community if you've made it this far then you have all of the stuff that you need to start building out that playlist. So happy creating!